Welcome to Santa's Workshop, aka our newly redesigned working room. Good morning, guys. It is getting cold. The temperature's been up and down the last few weeks, but I think it is officially time <laughs> that we need to bring all of our plants into the house. So, here we go. Oh my gosh, I caught it. It's not attached. <laughs> oh my word. Okay. Well, I was bringing this to show you. We are putting the hibiscus tree in the garage. We've been spraying it with neem oil just because it's been outside, so it might have bugs enjoying it. So we're gonna leave it in the garage for a few more days and do some more neem oil, and we'll see what happens. All right, cacti, welcome back. This is the cactus we bought about one year ago. I mean, most of these are. And um, this guy has been funny. At first we thought, it really doesn't look good. Is it doing okay? And it really hasn't changed much. Last year there was a brown part on here. Okay, just like this one. And so we tried cutting it off. Um, I had messaged the cactus person we bought it from and he was like, you can try cutting it off, see what happens. So we cut it off, it got even worse. So it's, I mean, it's not like rotten through and through or else we would know it. But um, yeah, so there's just gonna be these kind of wounds, I guess that's what we'll call it. But he's still happy as a clam. He grew two little nubbins, so that's funny. And this guy might win the prize. Yeah. Grew he's happy. that whole little extra guy and this whole extra guy. I mean, yes, yes. So last winter, before we took this outside, all it was was this paddle. And since I think it was May 1st that these two started growing. And now ever since it grew even another one. This grew, it used to be this tall when we got it last year. Now it's this tall. This one was this tall. Now it's that tall. And strangely, the third one in there didn't grow at all. So I'm curious to see if that will grow in the future or not. This one has grown, as you can see, from here up. And this one grew that whole thing and arms. Everybody's just happy and it makes me happy. All right, where do you want the big guy? <clears throat> big guy, let's go see. Hi, big guy. How are you? Are you having a good nap? Okay, sunny room. Oh, we just did a porch pickup from Facebook Marketplace a few days ago for this cart. $20! And that was a really good deal. It's from world world market so anyway um that'll be really helpful because we could put it like right here where the sunshine is and then put plants on it yep so i guess we'll move the bike but it, like put it in the middle of the room well wherever the sunshine is right there for now <laughs> this guy's blooming blooming onion all right, while we're in here, we can take a little scan of the uh, window plants. Crazy, crazy cabbage for days. All right, let's see.
Guys, there is unapologetically a lot of Christmas music happening in our house lately. It's giving me life. Yes. Okay, it's time for dinner. And Peter said, would you like savory parcels? I, 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 I saw Mary's chicken pot pie filling in the freezer and I said, that sounds good. So she takes the pie crust and she takes the chicken pot pie filling. Which I made a few weeks ago. A couple ago. weeks ago, yeah. And she did this last time. She used some leftover pie crust from when I made an apple pie. And she just kind of wraps it up into a, like a, kind of like a hot pocket, let's yeah. be honest. But it is so good. It's basically chicken pot pie, but individual servings. And did you guys watch the, up. yeah, what? We like it better than regular chicken pot pie. Yeah, it's, the, it's easier to eat. And what's the word? Um, the proportions of filling and crust. You get more crust to the filling. And we like that. You were going to say, did you guys watch? Oh, did you guys watch the Great British Bake... What, what's the show called? It's like Great British Baking Show. Bake Off? Uh, or Bake Off. Whatever. No, baking show. Whatever it is. The baking show where it's just... There's something about that show that is... I was talking to somebody about this this weekend. It's categorically different than American cooking shows. Or maybe it's just cooking shows in general. But... It's just a really peaceful show. It's yeah. not like this cutthroat rivalry in the kitchen. It's like... We're not cutthroat cooking show people. So when we watched that and we got addicted to that show, we were like, what's so different about this? Watch out, the chicken's right behind you. I think that's what's different. It's that peaceful music as the camera pans across the prairie. Anyways. Um... <laughs> We're having savory parcels, and that, that's where we learned that term was on that show. Anyways, Ollie and I just got back from a walk, and it is chilly. I'm glad we brought the plants in, and... But yeah, isn't it supposed to be 28 tonight? Yeah, 28 degrees tonight. Um, yeah, it's fun to have cacti around, and Christmas decorations. And speaking of cacti and Christmas decorations. Oh. Didn't we just say in a video how we don't recommend putting Christmas lights on a cactus? Yeah, Mary just said this, but then she remembered these lights that she got for our wreath. And I'm probably gonna change it to the although that's kind of magical. That is um, I was gonna change it to the always on setting, but Mary's like these aren't gonna get hot at all because they're just like little mini LED string lights and oh Wow, it stopped like flashing Well, it's going through all the different options. Oh, nice So just like, keep clicking the button until it's uh, continuously flashing I don't know, I, oh continuously flashing? Yeah. Okay, that one's kind of fun We'll leave that on for now, and uh, happy Chris Christmas cactus. Okay, you want me to show you how? Oh yeah, show us the savory parcels. Okay, I thought this. And what is this? I think this is like butter and flour, make a roux, and then some chicken broth chicken, celery, onion, carrots. Awesome. So. Perfect. Pretty like salt and pepper, mm -hmm. garlic, probably, maybe. Yeah, probably. Um, and. So cut this somehow for it to. It's probably easiest if you let it warm up a little bit. Well. Because it got real crumbly when I tried to use it cold. Oh, okay. FYI. Well, we're hungry, so we're jumping right in. All right, so half of a pie crust, pile it in there. Although, then, when I did it before, I used the scraps. leftover scraps from when Peter made apple pie. But this looks perfect. It'll... You could use a fork to seal the edges, but it's working fine. To use my fingers. 
Amazing. And, and so then, then you take an egg. Okay. This is the key to it making it look real crispy. glossy, glossy crispy. And crispy. Yum. Oops. So, like you beat up an egg and yep. spread it on there. And I did like a lot of egg last time. Nice. Actually, this kind of looks like it needs to be pressed. You just do the egg on the top? Yeah. Cool. And, um, I don't know, 400, 450, whatever, for till it's cooked. Nice. You know. You know, I don't cook with a recipe. I will cook with my heart. <laughs> Link in the description. To the aprons that say, I don't cook with a recipe. I will cook with my heart. Soundtrack not included. And while our savory parcels were in the oven, I just got a call from the neurologist about updating, choosing a different migraine medication to try. So we are rolling forward with hopefully a safe one for my liver. And they're, they're just gonna have to work on getting it called in and all of that. So. I will still talk with my CF team and just run it by them. I'm guessing that they have talked. I think the neurologist and the CF team have already talked, but I'm gonna check in just to make sure. And let me show you what these little pockets of goodness look like. They got kind of dark, so don't, don't put it on 450. Uh, put it on like 400 or 350, but they look good. And I cleaned our little Christmas dishes from the Dollar Tree, and they're gonna be delicious on Christmas dishes. But before we eat our dinner. Guys, all day I've been feeling like I have kind of like a sting in my in my arm, but, I, but I've had like long sleeves on all day, and I have a cactus spine in my arm. And I just got it out, and um, a few weeks ago, I had a cactus prickle in my finger and I was like, oh man, it kind of feels like a little piece of fiberglass mm -hmm. and it wouldn't go away. I washed my hands, I soaked it in um, Epsom salt and stuff like that. It totally got like, I don't know if it was in getting infected or if it was just like, it was hot and swollen and like hurt really bad and it's all better now, but all of that to say, Cactus spines are no joke. Seriously. During the old hot bucket transfer, <laughs> warning, it fell apart and exploded all over the floor and contents are volcano lava hot. Oh well. Hence the warning on the hot pocket label. <laughs> huh. Guys, this has been a project, but welcome to Santa's Workshop, AKA our newly redesigned working room. As you guys know, it is an ever evolving place of work. <laughs> I just realized though, I still have to go through that pile, so my desk looks atrocious. But look how organized this place is, we moved, this was in the center of the room, and one of the things we've discovered about ourselves is we like floor space. I think our store continually becomes more and more involved with new boxes, new packing materials, and um, so we and are getting all set up. Let's be real, I think part of it is we like change, yeah. And so we enjoyed it when it was in the middle. We enjoyed it when this was there, but now we're going to enjoy it like this. Yeah. And we enjoy, I think that's part of the process is we enjoy creating systems that work well for us. Like we were just sitting here, uh, like measuring Mary's reach to these shelves and like, is that a good like workflow or. I mean, and part of that is from having a friend who's an engineer who does this for a living, like in a factory. Yeah. If the trash can is that far away, I'm gonna waste so much time standing up and walking over there. Mm -hmm. I remember him telling us that. So I know to put it in really easy reach. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we have 
we have lots of different stations. You know, Mary's got her prints, and I've got my computer station where I print shipping labels, we make decals, we print the prints, we use the heat press, and we make all kinds of hats and tote bags and oh. over here we've got the apron station and we've got new products on the way i was just gonna say thank you guys for all your support of our online store we really really appreciate it uh we couldn't do what we do without you hey look it's little baby peter and mary on the day we got married almost 10 years ago yeah, our 10 year anniversary is coming up. I was just thinking this all started when we got a number of comments from you guys back in 2014, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. 2015, because it was okay, in January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you guys wanted to buy some of my watercolor art I was doing in the hospital. And like that one right there. Yeah, exactly. And Peter went and figured out how to print them and figured out how to ship them. And he was packing them up from the hospital room so I could sign them. And then he would take them and mail them. And that's where it all started, where our entire store could fit in one box that came yep. to the hospital and then went back home. Yep, our first shipment from our online store was from your hospital room, which and is amazing. Here we are so many years later. And um, guys, yeah, thank you. Stay tuned this Friday. We're having a big launch of new products, exciting things for Christmas. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Ollie. Good night, buddy. And we added a bed for him in here. But he enjoys the floor too. <laughs>